Hey there. In the today's industry, we need to deploy software quickly and safe. By doing that, sometimes we deploy bugs. We want to deploy variable features, but sometimes they often happen. Today, I will show how you can use Canary deployment to deploy software in the safest way. We will have two different versions of our application running in production on our cluster. The first version is the one that we trust, is the reliable one, is running at IY or now. And the other one is the new version that you want to deploy. We will be able to use Istio and Kubernetes to hold a small portion of the users to the new version and keeping the have load with the latest and the reliable version. Once you get more trust in the new code, we can change the rules to share, to spread the new uh, version to entire universe of users. This strategy is called Canary deployment. Let's do that. Okay, so let's get started what we have in our environment right now. First of all, I can see here that I have a hello service. The hello service is pretty simple. I have a relo resource here that returns hello from the host name of the machine that is running uh, the application. Uh, I can take a look here. I have uh, cube files and those cube files, I have two different deployment files. I have the deployment blue file. The deployment blue file uh, uses the modules create Quarkus hello service image. The version one of this image returns good morning on that endpoint. The second version, the version two, that is the deployment green file returns hello. So we will deploy both versions and then we will be able to use uh, those virtual services stage one, four, one, two, three, and four files to redirect the users. Let's take a look at each one of them. The stage one file is a virtual service from the Istio networking API version. Uh, here we have a rule, destination rule saying that I want to redirect 100% of the requests to the blue version, okay? And here I have 0% to the green version. So the stage one is when we have the reliable deployment running and responding every single request that we have, okay? Then we will have the, the stage two that will say that the blue version receives 80% of the request and 20% to the green version, okay? The stage three balances 50% for each one, blue and green, 50 and 50. It's the same virtual service, okay? It's the same object, but with different configurations. And the fourth version, we have 0% to blue and 100% to green. And I have here as well a destination rule that says uh, that the blue version connects with the labels version blue and the green version labels version green. So our deployments have labels here uh, saying that I have blue so the, the, the Quarkus Hello Blue has the labels version blue and version green. Okay, let's get started applying those configurations to see what's happened. First of all, let's take a look what I have in deployment on under Quarkus Hello Demo namespace. I don't have an deployment, so let's deploy the first deployment that is the, the, the blue one, okay? Uh, let me go to source main cube files. I have here scannery deployment and I have here the blue file. So let's apply that. Deployment blue. Okay. Let's take a look what we have. 
uh, waiting to be ready waiting to be ready and now we have two pods ready for Quarkus Hello Blue I can take a look on the pods as well Quarkus Hello Dem is the namespace and I have here two pods okay uh, the next file that I want to apply is the service so let's apply that okay I can take a look that we have the services under Quarks Hello Dem namespace okay I want to apply the destination rule okay and we can take a look under Quarkus Hello Demo and as the last file I want to apply the virtual service uh, the first virtual service that you have so virtual services Kubernetes apply stage one virtual service now we can test our application and we have good morning from Quarkus Hello Blue so now we have our code running in production but the code that we have is that we the, the, the one that we trust so we want to change it to return hello from quarkus hello green okay so let's deploy the the, the, the new version uh just let me go back a folder Kubernetes apply deployment green okay and we can take a look under Quarkus hello demo uh, waiting to be ready okay we have now Quarkus hello blue and Quarkus hello green ready uh, as you can see here I have just good mornings answers so we need to change our rule right now the rule that we have is saying that 100% of the request should be redirected to the blue version we need to change that rule to say that at least 20% of the request should be redirected to the new version okay let's go to virtual services we have here the stage 2 stage 2 virtual service uh let's apply that and nothing is changing right now because we still have the stage one file uh, apply it so you need to delete that so stage one virtual service and now we can see that we have good mornings and hellos we have more good mornings because 80 percent of the requests are being redirected to the blue version but we have a few hellos versions uh, responses that is from the new version of the code so if something happens like a bug or something like that now just 20 percent of the requests would return as an error or with a problem okay uh, but as you can see everything is working because it's a hello service right but everything is working and we just want to uh, now to balance 50% to the request to the new version, keeping the, the others 50% to the blue version. Okay, let's apply the stage three virtual service that has 50%, and let's delete the stage two. And now we can see that have good mornings and hellos as we did before, but with 50% each one. Okay, let's say now that we trust on our code because the new version is reliable enough, it's working, we can deploy it to the entire universe of users and we can, we can delete the old deployment. Let's do that, okay? So let apply, let me apply the stage three virtual service and let me delete 
the stage to virtual service. Let me apply the stage 4 file and let me delete the stage 3. And now we can see that every single request is returning hello from Quarkus Hello Green. It means that now every user will be seeing the new feature, the new code. Okay, and to prove that we can delete uh, the deployment blue file and we can see that everything is working fine. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We will be publishing more content about Java, Kubernetes, microservices and technology. Thank you.